It's a huge achievement for the Indian Space Research Organization. Chandrayaan-2 has entered Moon's orbit. Most uh, major, in fact, a hurdle has been passed and the next crucial stage is now landing on September 7. The engine was ignited at around uh, 17.38 uh, uh, seconds. The ISRO has uh, also confirmed now Prime Minister Modi will be in Sriharikota on September 7th when the spacecraft lands on the lunar surface. So the big maneuver that everybody was uh, very crucially looking at, uh, in fact, the make or break maneuver has successfully been managed by the scientist of uh, Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. Nagarjun Dwarkana joins me with more details. Nagarjun, in fact, congratulations to the entire country. What a fantastic moment uh, in this big journey for India. Well, that is a big, big achievement for ISRO today. And this is not the first time that they've achieved. Remember, remember in uh, Chandrayaan 1 also, it was a big movement then. Uh, but this time around, they have uh, recreated what they had done in 10 years back. Uh, and uh, ISRO has confirmed that it was uh, a duration of 1738 seconds where the onboard propulsion, propulsion system was ignited to reduce the speed of the satellite. And now, successfully, the Chandrayaan 2 has entered the moon's orbit. And in the next course, for a few days course, it would go around the moon for a few days and then a final maneuver when the lander will separate from the orbiter and the lander will do a soft landing on the south pole of the moon. The first country to land on the south pole of the moon on September 7th is what ISRO says. Most likely the Prime Minister too will be in ISRO uh, in Sri Kota, the Bangalore headquarters to witness a big, big uh, day for uh, India and ISRO and the whole scientific fraternity. Uh, uh, remember, ISRO has been number one in uh, in, in terms of uh, satellites and rocket propulsion. And today they have proved once again why in a global community they are appreciated worldwide. Uh, and uh, let me just give out a few, few more details. The next orbiter, uh, menu, orbit maneuver for the Chandrayaan 2 is scheduled tomorrow, somewhere around 12.30 to 1.30 uh, Indian Standard Time. A small maneuver again so that each maneuver uh, as, as, as the ISRO carries on, the, uh, the orbiter and the lander gets closer and closer uh, to, the, uh, to the moon's surface around 100 kilometers above the moon's surface, the lander as well as the orbital will detach and the orbital will continue to go on the moon sending information and the lander will land on the south pole of the moon and travel for 500 meters on September 7th itself to land and travel for the next few weeks for 500 meters and then send back crucial information uh, from the south pole of the moon. And why is the south pole of the moon so important? Because there are reports that there might be uh, some evidence of water on the South Pole. Uh, if, if ISRO can confirm that, that would be a biggest achievement here. Okay, Nagarjun, also, uh, you know, uh, the Prime Minister is now going to be witness to this historic uh, uh, moment when the, in the, the Chandrayaan to the Vikram lander is going to make a soft landing at the lunar surface. Uh, just tell us more about the program from here on till 7th of September. Well, most likely uh, the PM will be in uh, ISRO headquarters or the command center to witness the landing. Uh, the landing time has not been confirmed yet uh, by, by, by the PMO or the ISRO uh, department. Uh, and the PMO also has not confirmed that uh, to, to the media if he will be taking part. But most likely he will be what ISRO says because it's a big historic uh, uh, moment for India and ISRO as well. The first time that uh, uh, India will be landing its rover on the moon only the fourth country to do in the global fraternity. Uh, the others are the Chinese and the U.S. have done it before. Uh, India has never done it. Till now, it has only been that we have been orbiting the moon in Chandrayaan 1. And the first time that we have sent a small rover called Vikram uh, uh, on the moon. And it has, an, uh, uh, no, it has the wheels of Vikram also as a uh, Indian emblem and the ISRO, ISRO symbol also. A big moment and historic day for uh, India and ISRO on September 7th. Most likely the Prime Minister will take part and witness this. All right. Thank you so much, Nagarjun, for joining us with all those details.